It's January, and uh, there's snow on the ground. And uh, what, what are we in the Okanagan Highlands or something like that? Did I get that right? Yes. Okan Okanagan Highlands. We're on the first mountain south of Canada here. So how, how long has there uh, been snow on the ground? Since October. <laughs> it, came, it came late this year. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's it's been staying consistently cold for a long time. Yeah. All right. And this is a brand new rocket mass heater that you just built, what, a month ago, two months ago? Well, we I built as much as I could before the ground froze. We just moved up here in September, and we built an addition onto the house. So I started the rocket mass heater at the early part of October, and I built this as much as I got done before the ground froze in between the other things. So uh, uh, looks like there's there are a couple of little additions I don't normally see on them, and it is mostly stone, a lot of stone. Yeah. Stone and cob? Yep, yeah. yep. Okay. Um, we, you could call it fire clay mortar if you wanted to sound all masonish, but it's basically that thermal cob without any fiber in it that we use a lot. Uh, okay, all right. So now um, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many fires have you built in this today? None. All right, and Don't it lie. feels plenty warm in here. Yeah. My and warm. how's what's that? My butt's warm. Oh well, <laughs> it, and so now that thing's still throwing off a lot of heat. Yeah. yeah. Now when when was the last time you had a fire in it? Seven o'clock last night. All right, and uh, um, uh, did you have any other fires yesterday in it? I lit kindling earlier in the day yesterday. Then we got on the forums at permies.com and got a little distracted, so they had to light the fire again that evening. Okay, all right. I, I actually lit the fire specially for you because I know that you don't like to be cold. <laughs> That's true. I, I don't like to be cold. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so so you warmed the place up just for me? Yes. Well, I still feel warm. I, it feels. I mean, it, it feels like it's probably dipped a little below 70, but not much. No, not particularly, no. How much wood did you burn all of yesterday. That much. We burned this much wood, and this is about normal. Um, occasionally, if it's super, super cold, like um, the other like night, below zero with wind chill kind of stuff, um, then we might burn. Oh, if one of us is sick and we want the house extra hot, we might burn twice this much. But this, this is pretty normal for a day's burn. That's what we burned yesterday. Yeah. I keep saying that I burn about two cubic feet a day. When it's really cold, that's pretty much what we burn. Which means that a cord of wood... If we were burning that rate all the time, a cord of wood would last four months? Yeah. I think. And it's January... Uh, but we've... It's, we only had a cord because we got here late in the fall. We haven't run through it yet. Yeah, and we're burning um, pretty punky wood. You know, lots of holes. <laughs> you can see the snow on it. <laughs> Still a little damp. We haven't got our official woodshed built yet either. We're using a canopy tent. So <laughs> we're not recommending the type of firewood we got right now, but it is a fact that we've been able to keep our house warm on not a whole lot of not real good firewood. Yeah. It's burning clean. It doesn't put a smoke out like the wood stove would on this camera. Yeah, you know, it's got bugs, and you can pull bits off of it. It's pretty punky, and this is not what most people would be burning. Yeah. Um, Firewood up here tends to be pine on tamarack. Okay. Yeah. So not the greatest firewood in the world, but it works. There is one design thing. Is it, this is longer than a than a typical barrel. Yep. Yep. You've this extended is, the length of the barrel. This is the Ernie no added clean outs thing because the used barrels we already had and this kind of clean out cap here cost, what is it, 12 bucks a piece? Yeah. <laughs> so rather than let me put another one right here so we could vacuum ashes out of it, Ernie's like, no, I've got the thing that you put the barrel lid on with. And so he indexed this barrel to fit around the masonry and then we cobbed up around that for a seal on that part and then this and this have the just fiberglass gas getting on it like you do for a wood stove door. So we can take the barrel off and get in and out of it and vacuum ash off the top if we want them to. Ernie's gonna do this. <laughs> <coughs> Let's 
So uh, that's the inner core of a rocket mass heater with a fire brick heat riser. Yep. How's that? <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> so here's the top, right? Here's my stove gasket. And there's the top back on my stove. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. There's something wrong with the focus on this. It's not focusing. It stopped focusing. I'm going to well, stop so it. Have we, so. <laughs>